Oh, yeah. Oh, Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Here. Do you have breaking news in the world well, of electronics, Joe? <laughs> I started at Good Morning America as the new products and new ideas reporter. But I mean, I was, from what I heard, they were trying to get the USB port in this one. Oh. Because I forget which other one came out. Samsung or somebody came out with that. And they almost didn't go with this, but then they decided, what the heck, we'll go with this one and then we'll come out with another one. <laughs> oh. In September or October, that next one will have the, uh, the port. So every so, few months they're coming out with another absolutely. one. Absolutely. Do you recommend? And we wait. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm like instant gratification. I already have one. I'll buy the new one and I'll buy the next one. All right. It's they're gadgets. They're gadgets. They're they they're should have had a darn USB port in the first place. Yeah, and an yeah. SD card yeah. slot too. Yeah. And drop the price a few hundred dollars too. Yeah. That's how I. But I love. It. Or just give them away for free. <laughs> Life is so different today. I mean, even uh -huh. from when I was hosting Good Morning America, we didn't have Facebook or Twitter. Or, I mean, I didn't go home and Google who was going to be on the next day. They had a car. Bring the research, packets of research, and bring it to our house so we could sit and read through all of it and be ready. And we'd go in the next morning, and some country would have done something, and we wouldn't interview any of those guests. And it would be all new people, and you weren't prepared for it. I mean, that was like a typical morning. So could you go through all of that research every you day? You learned after a while just how to be a good researcher and how to cull through it. But, I mean, today, you know, every time I go on to anything to do an interview, I find out who it is. I, I did last last night about five interviews in a row, and I could Google each one of them so that, you know, even if it's 30 seconds before you go on, you have some sense of who you're talking to. It's the instant gratification. So did you Google Jillian before you did the show? Yeah, you're, you're new here. Yeah. <laughs> Not three years, I am, yeah. But I mean, mm -hmm. since the last time I was yeah, here. I yeah, I am. And you know what else? It's nice for the chit-chat, and I must say I'm still a little bit fascinated with the fact that I can correspond with my fans. My husband thinks I'm a total lunatic. But, <laughs> but I find it a little fascinating. But business-wise, now that I've gone, on, gone into Joan London Home and I'm producing lines of, of goods for people's homes, I just throw it out there, you know, to my closest 5,000 friends uh, at, any, at any given time and say, what colors would you like in your bedroom? You know, what color should my next collection be for the spring? And they all answer you, and it's really interesting, and some of them have great ideas. And I, I bet there are some fans that you have now that are fans of your new products that yeah. might not have even seen you on television, even though you were on, it seemed oh, like. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure that that's true. But, you know, when you try to do something, um, I'm a woman's advocate, so I wanted to do any kind of product that would help women in their home. Whether it was, you know, a new innovative gadget for the kitchen or whether it was just going to be something that was going to make them smile when they walk into the bedroom. And something to feel relaxed. <laughs> and something that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I mean, because that matters today. So I started with bedding collections, and they're affordable, but they look really expensive. Well, you, could spend, you could spend thousands of dollars oh, yeah. on bedding. Well, not on this line. And, and I don't think people want to. The easiest, cheapest way to change the look in your house is to change your bedding. Is this your English okay. Rose collection, I'm English, told? Yes, English Rose Garden. And that was based, once again, on Facebook people saying, give me a bold, dramatic, romantic bedroom. But look at these. We're sitting on your best yes. work, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right here. These pillows okay. are comfortable. I am, admittedly, I am a pillow fanatic, okay? I, I, a pillow addict, if you will. This one, I mean, you almost feel like you could, you know, pick the rose petals right off just for the way we've done these oversized loops. And look at that one right there, too. And to me, just like a woman puts on a dress, but you're really not fully dressed till you put on, you know, your earrings and your necklace. And your shoes. I don't think that a bed is fully dressed <laughs> until you put on the pillows. And there, look at this. You can do all kinds oh, of really... Cute. I mean, they're really adorable, and we sell them in a set of three on QVC for what you pay usually for one pillow in a store. That's kind of the beauty of So what's of the ballpark for? Because they're very comfortable. The, the pillows? These pillows, yeah. And you know what else? They're standalones. I don't do matchy-matchy pillows so it matches the comforter, because I want you to get a bang for your buck. And they range in price from like 45 to $95 for a set of three, depending on, you know, just how ornate they are. That's a great but price. But for three pillows, that's for three pillows. So would you use all three of these in the same ensemble? They look beautiful on top of the bed together, but you could take any of them and throw them on, like you're doing, throw them on a pillow in the family room or the living room, and you'll get use out of them for years to come. And that's, you know, those are the little secrets. You don't really have to hire a decorator. That's expensive. So if it was Facebook that inspired the Rose Garden, what inspired the Stockholm okay. collection that we're looking Good. at now? I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> because every single design is based on somewhere that I got to see over my many years as a journalist. Oh. Because I had this all-access pass that nobody gets. And that bedroom was inspired by the inside of the private quarters of, the Roy, of King Gustav 
and his wife in uh, they were the ki- they, are, they are the king and queen of Sweden and I was sent to the Drottingham Palace to interview them and they took me inside in the queen queen Sylvia showed me around her private residence and in the master bedroom was this deep royal blue bedding that just screamed out wow this is fit for a king and a queen so I immediately wanted to recreate that but for springtime I added this beautiful yellow color that is comfortable <laughs> and it's really comfortable and these are totally washable you know they're about 45 bucks so you can pop them in the wash I have seven kids wow wow I have three <laughs> girls in their 20s and I have two sets of twins that one just turned six yesterday and the other is almost eight years old Wow. so you, you, when you have a lot of kids around, that's a lot of lollipops stuck on a it's, on a popcorn. It's a lot of lift tickets. Is what <laughs> oh, that is. Are. Look at that. We this just is, went skiing. Do your children always wear helmets, or is this just for skiing? You know something. These days, everybody wears helmet skiing, and I took one pretty good whopper of a fall this last time, and I think I got a good lesson on why you should have a helmet yes. on. Yes, mm-hmm. no, it's a good idea. And th- we took them. We started them in skiing this last week up in Maine. I tell they were on the bunny hill in the morning. By the afternoon, they were up on the chairlift. Oh, right afraid. when I was feeling so good about myself, <laughs> the eight-year-old passes me by. It was like, all right, fine. Well, people will be feeling good about your brand new yes. products. And if you know, we put this all online too. So there's a possibility that King Gustav and the Queen are watching and will want to get that yes. yellow throw to add to their collection. So where I can hope. they get that? All right, I'm going to be on QVC tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with the new collection for spring. And if you missed any of these throws, I'm going to be selling these throws between 1 and 2 p.m. also on QVC today. They've been a great partner. I, I love it. We launched there to a great success. Well, yeah. And thanks nice. everybody who's already bought. <laughs> Joan London, a woman who's successful in everything she tries. Thank well, you so thanks. much for being here, Joan. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.